better get out of here. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about part two of my Godzilla collection. Massive collection, not so much. A lot of stuff still. Yes, yes indeed sir. Lots of stuff. You can see I've got a pile. I'm going to start this, uh, this video with my Mondo, was it, yeah, was it, I swear it's like Mondo, no, it's not, it's, uh, Death, Death, Death Waltz Recordings, Godzilla 1954 soundtrack, the music from that original film is exceptional, and when I saw this, I had to grab it immediately, because I just love this, uh, uh, this original, uh, original film, and, and the soundtrack is, is outstanding, and, it comes on a really cool, a really cool silver vinyl, which I think is immense. Um, I had to own it as soon as I saw it, and uh, apparently it's um, it's becoming a bit of a rarity now. But the artwork is immense on the front. I love it. The uh, you got the back, you got the tracks there, and uh, you know. It's just epic. It's just epic. I, I, I'm so happy to have this in the collection. But yeah, the Godzilla 1954 soundtrack by Def Waltz Recording. Super happy to own it. Fantastic. Sounds great on vinyl as well. Sounds immense on vinyl. Right, we're going to get into my VHS collection, which is quite vast. I think I've got more VHSs than I do other formats when it concerns Godzilla. I'm going to start off with... The way, the four four front video uh, releases that came out in the UK over the nineties. Um, I kind of do remember seeing these in the shops as a child, uh, not really knowing what they were. I just remember this kind of cover where it's got the silhouette of Godzilla, and it's got Godzilla in kind of like burning fonts. But um, there's, there's there was only ever seven that came out under this label. Uh, on VHS, so you've got um, you've got Godzilla versus a Megalon, which is a super super cheesy, um, you know, Shower era Godzilla movie. Pretty decent. Uh, they could have gone a bit more imaginative with the with, with the artwork. It's a bit bland, you know, um, on these artworks. A bit bland. You know what VHS looks like. I hope, uh, but yeah, that's uh, Godzilla versus Megalon by Forefront Films. The next one is, uh, yeah, Godzilla vs. Gigan, another really goofy kind of Showa era Godzilla movie that is lots of charm, but you know, the 60s and the Showa era in the 60s was very much, very much kid friendly at this point in the franchise. But yeah, uh, these four front videos are pretty decent. One of my favourite Showa era Godzilla films ever, which is Destroy All Monsters, one of the first kind of ensemble films. Uh, you know, Marvel and uh, the Avengers are doing that now, these days. But like Godzilla, you know, did it, you know, such a long time, like forty years, you know, forty years ago, you know, in the end of the 60s, 68 or whatever. But, yeah, Destroy Monsters is one of my favourite um, Godzilla, uh, Godzilla films from the, from the from the show era, and it's uh, it's kind of special to be honest, a special movie. So I've got Godzilla, one that I've not seen, I've not heard great things about, but. One of those, one of the films that I've not seen, uh, but yeah, four front video, uh, very bland releases. I think um, they all come, they all come with English dubbing, which kind of adds to that crazy charm that we all love about it, dubbing over stuff. Ebera Horror of the Deep, another one that I've not seen yet, because I am all four. I've not seen the whole franchise, but um, I do, I do, I am getting through them slowly. But yeah, Ebera Horror, Horror of the Deep, I've not seen. Uh, again, this is four front video. Kind of bland, but I thought you know I'd get the set because it's kind of a call for the collection. Invasion of the Astro Monster, Monster, another one that I've not seen that I've heard good things about, but again uh, I'll get to it when I can. You know, it's a standard VHS. Terror of Mechagodzilla, a really good sequel to Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla. Uh, not my not one of my favourites by any means, but um, a decent sequel. Uh, anything to give. To give uh, to bring back Mechagodzilla, I'm all for because he's my boy. But yeah, uh, yeah. Um, again, this, this is a bit of a bland kind of release. Uh, no imagination on the front cover. Uh, it's just 
kind of these 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 are the, can't remember. That's the last uh, that's the last out of the um, four front video set that came out. Only seven were released. I know because I did check and I only ever saw these seven. Next up, I want to look at the Carlson UK releases. There's only ever been three that came out by under this label on VHS. You have got the Return of Godzilla, also known as Godzilla 84, um, a great Heisei, beginning of the Heisei era, great, great uh, Godzilla film. I spoke about this in part one, but yeah, he looks he looks like a monster, in, he looks like un, ungodly evil and monstrous in this film. And it's a great kind of like a return, uh, kind of rebooting the franchise into the Heisei era. It's just a great, a great, great Godzilla film. Then we have uh, one of my favourites of all time in my top three. I think it's like one of, I think I said this is my number two favourite. Uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Um, just so much charm with this movie. I love it so much. Yeah, uh, great movie. I love the, the design of OG Mechagodzilla. So good. Uh, I love this film so much, man. It's so, so much charm. So, so enjoyable. And um, I think this film alone, I get a lot of Power Ranger vibes from this, but it's probably because Power Rangers comes from Japan. And in my mind, Power Rangers is kind of part of the kaiju genre in itself. Like, you know, all, all the all the giant monster footage from Power Rangers is pretty much just like a just a kaiju, basically. Um, I always get Dragon Dragon Zord vibes, um, but obviously we know that Dragon Zord was inspired by Mechagodzilla, and uh, it's awesome. But yeah, this film is just fantastic. It's my second favorite film in the franchise. I love this movie. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. The last one in the Colton series, the three that I've found, I don't think there's any more, I've looked, is uh, Godzilla vs. Hedera. I've not seen this one, I've heard it's fantastic. It's also known as Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. But yeah, um, I've heard good things and uh, I need to get around to watching it. But yeah, uh, that's the Colton VHS set. There's only three that I know of. Uh, if you know, Dan, but if you know if you know that there's more in the Colton set when it concerns the the, uh, the, the if you know that there's more than three VHSs in the Colton set, let me know because I would be up for grabbing them if I could find them. We're going to move on to my, I suppose these are my uh, manga, uh, manga live uh, releases. Uh, so you've got Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. Some would argue this is Godzilla's best best design. He looks ferocious in this, and, God, and King Ghidorah is a, a badass. I love this film though. Um, well, um, again, one of my favorite Heisei films. Uh, really great, really great effects, really great storyline. I just think it's really, really good. I think it's uh, a wonderful little entry point as well. If you've, if you've seen the original uh, Godzilla, and you want kind of another cool, kind of like, grounded, kind of like crazy Godzilla film, this is a good one. I recommend this one. Next in the manga line of uh, releases, uh, the, the is uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra. Uh, I love this artwork, it's fantastic. One of my favourite Heisei era Godzilla films. It's brilliant, I love this movie. And I think uh, you guys should check it out if you want to watch some cool Godzilla stuff. With Mothra in it, because Mothra is adorable. But yeah, it's uh, another one by Manga Entertainment. Really cool one. Uh, I have I have the same film again, but I have an alternative cover of this one, Godzilla vs Mothra uh, under the manga, the manga live entertainment label. But yeah, it's just a, it's the same film, but uh, it's got a different cover art, which I thought was interesting. So I just thought I'd grab it because I love this movie, and uh, it's you never can get enough of uh, Godzilla vs Mothra. It's one of my favourite Heisei films. So yeah. Same film, different cover art. Why not? Finally, of my uh, hard case releases, I've got Godzilla vs. Megaguirus. Um, very hard to find. Uh, you know, the, the lot of the Millennium Era, uh, to find them on the, uh, VHS is super hard. Uh, so I found this, I had to import it. I can't watch it because it's in Japanese only. There's no subtitles or anything like that. But just thought I'd pick it up for the collection. It's got a cool kind of like Japanese label on the vhs there really really like that cover art i think it looked cool i i just got i got a thing for japanese um japanese writing i think it just looked cool on anything um so i i really really like the look of this for the collection i'm um 
I'm all down for it. Uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the more reptilian looking gods that are in these uh, Millennium series of fi um, films, but uh, this one's okay, I suppose. Uh, the, the, the Millennium era is my least favourite uh, era for Godzilla, so um, he becomes more kind of reptilian in, in, in its look, and I don't like it so much. But uh, this is a cool find to get. Um, I have seen a rare, rare um, bootleg version of Shin Godzilla on VHS. Now, one it looks amazing. It's on like a red tape. But yeah, any of these later films, uh, getting them on VHS is really hard, but they do exist. It's just about finding where to get them. Usually, mostly on uh, auction sites from Japan, you'll get, you'll find them. But they go for a pretty penny. This was about, you know, 30, 30 pounds, forty dollars, something like that. It was a really expensive, but um, I had to grab it for the collections. So I'm really happy I did. So yeah, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Mecha uh, Mecha Now I'm going to get into my NTSC NTSC VHS collection. This is uh, this is the the bulk collection that I was able to grab. Uh, a lot of it in lots so I think I bought two lots I spent about 300 pounds um, uh, I do prefer these uh, NTSC VHS's I do prefer the um, the, the cassette on, on the card I just think it looks nicer so I'm just going to power through these I don't want this video to be super long but yeah I've got Ghidorah the three headed monster Godzilla vs Destroyer Godzilla 1985, also known as Godzilla 1984, also known as Return of Godzilla. King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla raids again, super hard to find, glad I've got it. The original Godzilla 1954, but this is the King of the Monsters cut with uh, Raymond Burr. Godzilla and Mothra Battle for Earth, a great Heisei Godzilla film. Godzilla vs. A King of Ghidorah, another, like I showed you before, great, great Heisei Godzilla movie. Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2, uh, a good one, although I don't like the Mecha Godzilla redesign, I think it's rubbish. Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Yes, when you get this far into a franchise, you're going to have a space variant of the character. Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. It's alright. Godzilla 98. Godzilla 2000, the first in the Millennium Era. Godzilla vs. Mothra, the first film to pit those two wonderful kaiju in one movie. Godzilla's Revenge, also known as All Monsters Attack, meant to be one of the worst Godzilla films of all time. I've not seen it, I can't comment, but we will see in due course if it's the worst. Destroy All Monsters this is one of my favourite VHS tapes because it's got amazing artwork and I love this film to pieces. It's one of my favourite Godzilla films ever. Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. Um, not seen this one as far as I'm aware. But um, I, I take it he fights uh, King Ghidorah. Terror of Mechagodzilla, the sequel to Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, as I spoke to you before in uh, in, the, in the previous uh, part of this video. Um, uh, not as good as the first film. Uh, I hate the artwork on these, it's awful. The sets are pretty basic, um, but yeah, that one. Last but not least, uh, one of my favourites as well in terms of uh, the cover arts of this VHS is uh, Godzilla vs. Biollante. It was the only way I could get this film without importing the super expensive Japanese Blu-ray. This was the only way to really get the film uh, and be able to watch it for the first time. So yeah, it's really cool. So that's the VHSs of my collection. Really happy to have this collection. Really proud of my VHS collection. Uh, there are there are the, you know Godzilla fans that have ridiculous collections. Um, but obviously space is a big thing for me and um, those fans tend to be just more more dedicated fans that have more time and money to really jump into the you know, into the collection and sort of things but I collect what I want not you know not everything so but I do want to get the blu-rays at some point so when I get a multi-region player I'm gonna start you know cutting out the blu-ray and collecting the blu-rays but next up I'm just gonna show some of the miscellaneous stuff that I've got I've got some figures here 
Godzilla from the 2019 King of the Monsters. With his tiny head, which I said before. But, um, this is uh, him powering up to do his atomic breath. It looks fantastic with the shades of blue. Um, it's got quite a lot of articulation in the tail. Great little figure. Got this uh, static figure. It's a, a, a Bandai figure of the OG Godzilla. Um, I quite like this guy. He's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool sculpt as well. I like it a lot. It looks pretty killer. Not much articulation. His, his, his hands move and that, but love it. Chunky boy as well. Chunky boy. I've also got. So I've got a Godzilla pop vinyl. Um, yeah, Chunky Boy as well. Really like this one. Uh, there are a couple of variants that I want for the pop. They're really expensive now. You can get the Burning Godzilla as a pop, and you can get uh, Glow in the Dark. Uh, you can get Glow in the Dark pop, where his eyes are his eyes are um, are blue, and his uh, his spines are blue. So he, like glows in the dark, like he's going to do atomic breath. There is a black and white version that kind of harkens back to the original Godzilla 1954. And there's also a, uh, I'm sure there, I think there's a green slime edition as well. There's a lot of versions of the pop vinyl that I really like that I want, but they're really expensive. My creme de, de la creme in figures is this wonderful um, 70s era Godzilla uh, money box. So it's like a, take the head off and it's got a bunch of a, uh, Coinarunus inside, so uh, yeah, you've got the little uh, coin slit there, but I'm mine's filled up, so it, it weighs a ton now. But uh, yeah, this is my one of my favourite uh, pieces in my collection in terms of just it just it's beautiful. He's a beautiful boy. Look at him. He's a beautiful boy. Yeah, uh, got that. Also have these uh, these little uh, little dudes called Godzilla there. I've got King Ghidorah there, cute little, cute little dude. Got uh, Mecha Godzilla two. It's a little figurino. The cutest of the cute Mothra. Uh, and I've got these little kind of weird kind of like little car things that are like kind of like uh, almost like Hot Wheels, but they're from Japan. based on Godzilla but so I've got that one Godzilla and I've got this one which is like a little uh, a little um, Mothra larvae I've shown this before but I do have uh, the 1962 Derpzilla as I like to affectionately call him uh, he's from uh, King Kong vs Godzilla and uh, it's one of my favourite designs he's a bit derp but who doesn't love a bit of derp it adds to the charm he's got his atomic breath coming out there uh, this is a NECA release does uh, NECA do fantastic things for the Godzilla releases some fantastic sculpt work and the way you've got the different different colour shadings on the uh, on the spines there like yeah dorsal fins um, yeah this is great uh, one of my favourite designs and I'm glad to have the figure it's awesome you can put this back in now you bastard there you go that was my Godzilla collection. I really hope you enjoyed these two videos. Um, I, I just, any reason to talk about Godzilla, I'm all for. So that was, it's really fun to go through this and finally do these videos because it's been on the docket for a long time. You know, so yeah, so thanks a lot for watching as always guys. If you like what you see here, hit that like button. It is the best way to support the channel. The more likes I get on this video, the more YouTube will share it to other people to watch. So yeah, if you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It means, the mo it means there's so much to me to see my subscribers climb and get more people, uh, more like-minded people to join the community and talk about horror movies, kaiju films and the like. Yeah, as always, I've been Jason and I am out.